All right, we're going to go over how to link elements uh, in the preview. Um, I'm just going to click right here. If I click on Arch 1 right here, notice that in the preview window the arch turns pink. That means that it's linked to those elements. If I click individual elements, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see how they're being highlighted individually on the screen in the arch as I go down the list. So what you can do is quickly click on elements here and you can see which ones are active um, and linked on the screen to that element. Now we're going to add an element and by far the easiest way to add it is to first click on the element in the tree here or the element group in this case. Uh, click on what you want to add which will click on the arch and then draw it on the screen. You can see that it's pink as it draws. That means that it's linked automatically to the elements. We can verify that. You can see here the string type is pixel and the linked elements are automatically the arch that we picked. Um, you can also do that. We'll do that with a mini tree here and you can see this is not a grouped element. This is a single element. We'll add it as a triangle just, just for now. You can see when we draw it, the type of element, the string type here is standard because it was only one element. And you can see here it's only linked to one element. So that's how you do that. Now we're going to go over how to use this um, linked element uh, dialog box here. Um, first we're going to draw an arch. We'll just draw it right here in the middle of the screen. And it's not linked to anything. I did that on purpose. And it's a standard string type. So on this side here you can see our available elements, the tree, and on this side you can see the elements that are already linked. Um, we're going to link an element. So it's an arch. We're going to call this arch 3. And um, since this is only a single element, we can only we can't add a group. We can only add a single element. So we're just going to drag this over. You can see that now this um, arch is linked to this element. Now, if we want to link this to pixels, we can change this to pixel type. Select here. Now you'll see that the linked elements. There's 25 of them because there's 25 uh, lights in our string. So now we can go to the arches. You'll see that the arch has, this one has 50. So let's just go back. Let's change this to 50. So now our light counts 50. If I go into the linked elements, you can see that some are selected, some aren't. So there's 50 elements here in our arch as a group. If we click on the first item in the group, and move it over here. It'll assign every element in that group in order to that arch. Um, if you want to assign things differently than it has, you can drag them individually over there. You can select them. So now I, I picked the first one. You can hold shift and pick one down here. If you drag that over to here, it'll link them all in order. You can also hold control and select different items in the list. And same thing, you can drag that over there and it'll assign them in the order you selected them here. Um, also, if for some reason you want every element in every string to be the same, like a, an example may be, we'll do a um, mega tree here and we'll Make it tiny. Make the top height nothing, that height nothing. We'll make the coverage degrees 180. Um, light size will make smaller. And the base height will make zero. And now we can actually use this to look more like one of our mini trees here. But the linked elements for this, there's tons of strings here because there's different strings on the tree. So we want them all to be the same. 
So what we can do is pick a mini tree, drag it over, then you'll see on, on number two it's, it's blank. We don't want to link them all. So you can right click here, say copy to all elements, all strings. And now if you look at any of the strings, they're all linked to the same place. Um, you can also over here if you double click on, or if you click here and then double click on this side, it assigns it. And I believe that's about it for linking elements.